Hey friend, I've got a quick video for you today on gain staging that covers a very simple technique that will give you professional sounding mixes in no time. This technique makes it easier and quicker to finish your mixes by setting up your working levels from the start so you can maintain balance and hit the sweet spot on your plugins every time. Let me know in the comments section below how you set up your gain staging and as always, hit me up and let me know if you've got a topic or a question you want to share. If you like this and you want even more great tips on how to transform your musical ideas into complete professional sounding songs, head to my website electronicmusictips.com using the link below and pick up my free six step guide on how I create a song from start to finish that's full of amazing tutorials and tips. And don't forget, hit the like and subscribe buttons now it only takes a second. The decibel is defined as one-tenth of one bell, named after the inventor of the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell. Decibel is a term used to represent the ratio of one signal level to another, or to measure the change in a sound's level. Raising a sound 10 decibels will increase the power of that sound 10 times. Decibels measure change rather than absolute volume, which is why zero decibels known as unity gain, represents no change rather than zero volume. DAWs use an objective scale called DBFS, or decibels measured relative to full scale. This refers to the maximum level of signal the audio software can handle before clipping occurs. Values below zero DBFS are measured in relation to full scale. For example, minus 12 DBFS is 12 decibels lower than clipping volume. The smallest signal an audio device can accommodate is determined by the background electrical noise of the system and ambient or room noise. The highest level is determined by the level the system can handle before starting to clip. Maintaining optimal levels between equipment and software is referred to as gain staging. Best gain staging practice is to set a channel fader at around minus 12 dBFS then feed the signal into plugins at unity gain. This will allow for level adjustments afterwards and ensure that the signal is going to the plugins at the sweet spot for audio processing. Dynamic range refers to the difference in decibels between the quietest and loudest signals. It also describes the difference between the quietest and loudest parts of an audio signal. Headroom can be defined as the unused dynamic range above the highest audio signal level. There's no use in pushing an audio signal level above zero decibels in a DAW because, unlike analog gear, saturation isn't added to the audio above unity gain or zero. When CDs were popular and digital audio was recorded in 16 bits, engineers would push the signal to zero decibels in an attempt to maximize the peak audio level of 96 decibels. Now that 24-bit audio is standard, this practice doesn't really apply as 24-bit um, audio is capable of peak levels of 140 decibels. As a best practice, leaving 12 to 15 decibels of headroom ensures there's enough room to add EQ and dynamic effects during mixing. Leaving lots of headroom also allows us to preserve the super fast peak transients at the very start of a percussive sound like a kick drum or percussion. And setting the uh, level too high will clip the initial transient, making the sound dull and less realistic. Optimizing levels as they pass from one hardware or software device to the next is an important concept to grasp that contributes to professional quality recordings. If an audio signal is distorted at the start of a signal chain, it'll be distorted at every point along the signal chain afterwards. The same happens if an effects processor is overdriven in the middle of a signal chain, carrying forward the saturation in the following processors. The opposite is also true. If a preamp is driven too softly, the signal will need to be boosted excessively, introducing noise from the system or the noise floor. Gain staging is the proper setting of the gain on each processor so that no section overloads individually or in total of all the processing effects. 
Use care when inserting processing devices on the signal chain, ensuring that any gain added with EQ or dynamic processing is compensated for by adjusting the output level on the way out. So I wanted to take a second to show you how I gain stage my tracks, uh, both individually and um, as groups uh, going into my master bus. Uh, first, I'll start with um, a synth track. This is uh, resampled audio from uh, Wavetable Synth. Uh, and I've got um, the fuzz machine on it. Um, there's a, a bunch of uh, uh, effects on here. Um, I like it for the dynamic tube uh, saturation and the amp simulation. Uh, so the macros are set to um, adjust the drive on both the dynamic tube and the uh, amp simulator with this macro. And you'll notice on the level or the meter, um, if you add drive, it's going to add um, a fair amount of gain. Uh, this will eventually clip. So in order to prevent that from clipping, uh, make sure that you bring down the output from the saturation plugin that's feeding all the other ones after it. Um, that includes the volume on the amplifier. And really what you're doing is if you're boosting the drive of the uh, effects, you want to make sure and compensate on the way out by uh, lowering the output volume so that you're uh, relatively coming up to the level of where your level adjustment is on the track. So that's the uh, individual track. Now I've got these anywhere from zero decibels to reduced depending on how, um, you know, depending on the adjustment for the track. Um, making sure that you're not going above zero decibels, anything after that, and you could introduce clipping. It's not like an analog console where you're going to get um, saturation or overdrive on an analog channel. Uh, there's no such thing in the digital domain, so uh, you can add these types of plugins to do emulate that uh, sound. Um, I digress. Uh, <laughs> so these tracks are all fed into uh, this uh, group bus. This is my synth bus. I normally have the groups set at minus 12 decibels. And the reason I do that is uh, I can adjust the levels of each individual track going into the bus. And then if I have it set to minus 12 decibels to start with, it can go up or down from there. But the idea is I want to have all of my either individual group, individual tracks that aren't in a bus or the bus uh, track going into my master bus at around minus 12 decibels. And the reason why I do that is it leaves lots and lots of headroom for about 12 decibels in the premix stage. Um, and that'll give me uh, a roughly six decibels to, um, to mix down and add EQ effects, dynamic effects, tape saturation. All those things are gonna add a little bit of gain um, to get it to uh, where you want it where you want it to sound and then if I shoot for minus six decibels during my final mix down it's going to allow for another six decibels of headroom for mastering uh, this is a little louder than I normally have it I would actually bring this down a bunch Let's see if I can uh, adjust this quickly.
still a little loud, but that's the rough idea. Probably bring my sub down a bit. Anyways, these are rough levels. Um, again, the idea is the individual tracks feed the buses. Those are set to minus 12 to start with on my template. By the way, you can download uh, the template from my website, electronicmusictips.com. It's free. I've got two versions. I've got a version that's all stock native Ableton plugins, and I've also got a version that's got some UAD plugins and some other synths um, from uh, Yuhi, and um, it's got a massive and a couple of other synth uh, plugins if you're interested. Uh, those don't come with the with the template, but if you have the plugins that are listed on my website, uh, you'll be able to access those as well. Um, so uh, that's basically it. Um, hit me up in the comment section if you've got any questions about this, and uh, I'd be happy to uh, clarify or, or walk you through it. Uh, anyways, I hope this was helpful. Talk to you soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and found it super helpful. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know how you set up your gain staging. And don't forget to head to my website, electronicmusictips.com, using the link below to get my free six-step guide. Bye for now, friend. DAWs use an objective scale called DBFS, Decib or DAWs use an objective scale called DBFS uh, or, <laughs> or, def or, or <laughs> decibels measured to relative full. Mm -hmm.